In this video, I describe the halter neck extension of the dermal flap for prepectoral implant breast reconstruction. These are the preoperative pictures of the patient. She has large tautic breasts. She's planned to undergo left prepectoral implant breast reconstruction along with right breast reduction for symmetries. You can see the marking. We have found that this technique works well in women with at least a C-cup bra. In patients with smaller breasts, tissue expander can be used instead of an implant to stretch the overlying skin and tissues. The head is on the right hand side. The halter neck extension is based on saving the areolar skin. The nipple is removed and block with the mastectomy specimen. The areolar skin is deepithelized to give that extra bit of the dermal flap to allow prepectoral breast reconstruction. The dermal flap has been marked and the skin is being deepithelized. Once the dermal flap has been deepithelized, the mastectomy flaps are raised in a standard manner. The sentinel lymphoid biopsy procedure is being performed. One hot and blue sentinel lymph node has been removed. The halter neck extension gives that extra length to the dermal flap to enable prepectoral breast reconstruction. You can see the intended pocket for the implant. The sizer is being uh, prepared. I'm using the sizer to determine the size of the implant that I need to use to give her the best symmetry. This patient had large tautic breasts and wanted to be smaller and therefore we have been able to perform a single stage prepectoral implant breast reconstruction along with contralateral breast reduction for symmetry. You can see in this picture how the mastectomy flap will come over the dermal flap and the shape of the breast. She has good symmetry with the sizer in place. So the sizer is being removed. An important step is a back cut laterally. This allows to tuck the dermal flap laterally to the serratus to define the lateral edge of the reconstructed breast. I use two zero PDS sutures. Lateral sutures are being placed. The superior stitches are being placed now. Since this case, I have modified the step. I place the superior stitches first, followed by insertion of the implant or tissue expander, and then the lateral stitches to define the lateral border.
you can see the implant in place, the well vascularized dermal flap with the hole where the nipple was. The implant is partially exposed medially and laterally. I use a handheld silk to approximate the mastectomy flaps on top of the dermal flap to give an idea how the reconstructed breast uh, looks like and if any adjustments are needed. Closure is in layers using 3-0 monocryl. You can see good symmetry on the table. 